On this segment of Live Love Local, we are here in the Worthington Historic District. Worthington was settled in 1803 by James Kilborn and Thomas Worthington. They purchased 16,000 acres of land on behalf of the Scioto Company for $1.25 an acre. They plotted a New England type village of 164 lots around a central public square, which was designated for religious and educational purposes, as well as a spot for community gatherings. This square currently is in historic downtown Worthington. The new village was named in honor of Thomas Worthington, one of Ohio's first senators and a future governor, for his assistance in locating the tract of land that would become Worthington. In 1835, Worthington was incorporated as a village with an elected village council and mayor. The village retained a stable population with little growth and served as the market center for surrounding farms for the remainder of the 19th century. When the electric street railway cars connected Columbus and Worthington in 1893, it officially designated Worthington as a suburb, making it easier to live, work, and play in Worthington while leaving it connected to the capital city downtown. The parish team loves to shop, eat, and play in downtown Worthington. We love Le Chatelaine, um, of course, Dewey's Pizza, where we just finished an amazing pizza. Grater's Ice Cream, and probably one of my favorites, Worthington Jewelers, and the Whitney House. Come play with us in downtown Worthington. Interstate 270 was completed in 1975, defining Worthington's northern boundary. At this time, growth again stabilized. Uptown Worthington not only draws local residents to its area, but attracts residents from all over town. With a current population of almost 15,000 people and occupying an area of over five and a half square miles, Worthington continues to be one of Central Ohio's most sought after areas. If you're interested in making a move to Worthington or any other area here nearby, call the parish team today and we'd love to help you get there.